So we have a brand new update for Cyberpunk 2077. What's up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Cyberpunk update. It seems that even CD Projekt Red is busy at work with brand new hotfixes for, well, this quite broken game. But you know what? We're gonna take it. It's right before Christmas. And I also hope you have some really amazing holidays because we might not see each other until the holidays are over. But let's talk about hotfix 1.06 right here. It seems that it's it is now available both for the PC and for the consoles and you can go ahead and maybe even download it right now if it didn't already automatically. Now one of the biggest changes right here even though this isn't the most sizable patches of them all is going to be for that 8 megabyte save file size limit that was kind of plaguing a lot of people's playthroughs. Of course as you may or may not know in the previous update if you would craft too many items you would risk to exceed that 8 megabyte save file limit to the point that it would corrupt your entire save file and it would become completely unusable. So it seems that at least for the PC specific changes CD Projekt Red has removed that limitation but do note that this will not fix the save files that have been corrupted before this update. So if you were not able to load your save files before update 1.06 you're probably gonna have to revert to a much earlier update before that corruption even happens. So hopefully that is not the case for too many of you guys. And by the way, if we were to talk about update 1.06, it seems that the file size can be quite big depending on the platform you're playing on. So if you're playing on the PlayStation 5 like I am, I have noticed that I have downloaded another like 16 or 17 gigabyte update, not just a few megabytes like how the other platforms like Steam are reporting. So uh, maybe it's gonna take a bit of while until you get all of this sorted out But as far as the other changes we have a few for the quest So Dum Dum will no longer go missing from Totem Tan's entrance during the second conflict Of course, there's also another console specific change as in they have improved the memory management and stability Resulting in fewer crashes and personally as somebody who had a ton of crashes I'm really glad to see this um, but of course this is all there is with the list of changes as I've said it's not the biggest of them all but it is definitely a big improvement at least for that 8 megabyte save file size limit. The only question that I have is well this change with the 8 megabyte save file limit has been listed only for the PC and I did check my in-game save files they are definitely quite large but did not yet exceed 8 megabytes. So my question to you is were you able to exceed the 8 megabyte save file limit on the PlayStation 5 at the very least? and if so how many items did you do even more so in the end did it still work or did the save file become corrupted because I have duped tens of thousands of items I think that I have over 100k plus items in total that I've duped and the game still works perfectly fine I can still save and now with the save file limit gone yeah I can pretty much continue this so I really want to know if the consoles were as affected as the PC version was and I would love to know your opinion down below but in the meantime I went ahead and did some more testing to see if they fixed anything else in the game it seems that the game is like pretty stable as it was already I did not encounter Counter any crashes yet but I also didn't have enough time to go ahead and properly test the update. I did on the other hand test some of the exploits that we've been covering here on this channel. So yes I know the next question does the duping still work? Yes I went ahead I've duped some items and lo and behold it still works exactly the same as it always did so I think that CD Projekt Red doesn't have too much of a priority when it comes to fixing some of the major exploits right now in the game. Also I went ahead and tested the XP farming method that we've done a few days ago. If you remember that, we would go under this bridge and just take down enemies with like the launching system and just tranquilize everybody and then kill everybody. Well, I can fully confirm that yes, these groups will all respawn and the farming method still works the same as always. The only thing that I couldn't test was if I was getting enough XP because I already hit level 50 quite a while ago. So yeah, let me know down below again in the comments if you still get the same amount of XP on the very hard difficulty. Oh, and also on a final note, the Dead Eye still does not work, unfortunately. I just wanted to update you guys on this one, but yeah, maybe in a future update. But this is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.